Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and in this video I will discuss about scope resolution operator. Okay, so this scope resolution operator was not available in C programming language. Okay, so this has been introduced in C++ language. Okay, there are many uses of this scope resolution operator and in this video we will see what are those various situations where we can use this scope resolution operator and this becomes very useful in many cases okay okay now the first case is to access the global variable of a function when there is a global variable with the same name is already declared inside the class so as you can see here with the help of this example we'll try to understand what is the meaning of this point okay so this is the class inside this class i have declared some private data members and there is a member function and above the declaration of this class you will see a variable x has been assigned a value of 100 and this is a globally declared variable so this is a global variable and this variable can be accessed by any function in this program okay immediately after the declaration of the class we have created a function which is called as get data and inside this function as well i have created a variable with the same name x so as you can see here there is a variable as x which is i have declared as a global variable and there is another variable with the same name which i have declared as a local variable okay so the scope of this variable x is restricted within this function only because okay, the lifetime of this variable gets vanishes once the control comes out from this get data function okay so now immediately after this function i have created a main function inside that i have created an object and with the help of this object i am accessing this get data function so now according to this first point okay so we use the scope resolution operator in our program whenever there is a variable with the same name and that variable is declared in multiple places so this is the situation where I have a variable x and that variable is x is declared as globally and there is a variable x which has been declared locally so when you call the get data function with the object of this class which x will going to call so now as you can see here inside this get data function I will not use the scope resolution operator okay so when i am not using the scope resolution operator prefix to x then in that case when the object makes a call to this get data function the local variable x value which is assigned as 20 will get called and how much ever value you will be assigning to this variable y at runtime that value will get added up with the value of this local variable x so now i want to access my globally declared variable x the value of my globally declared variable i want to add the value of globally declared variable with the value of y which i will be providing at runtime so in that case yes, if i want to access the value of globally declared variable then i have to prefix the variable x with the scope resolution operator okay so now it's asking me to enter the value of y okay so i will pass a value of 10 okay since i have prefixed the scope resolution operator before x inside my get data function that's why it's taking the value of x which i have declared as a globally okay so that's why you got the value of 110 now what i will do is inside this get data function i will remove the scope resolution operator and i will save it okay? and then again i will execute this program again i will pass the value of 10 now you will see it's returning me the value of 30 because now in this case since i have not prefixed the scope resolution operator it's referring the value of variable x which i have declared as locally okay now let us see the second use of scope resolution operator okay the second use is to define a function outside the class this is the same program okay so no changes so here you can see i have declared the get data function inside the class and the implementation of this function i have written outside the class since the implementation of this function i am declaring outside the class that's why we have to prefix that 
we have to prefix the function name with its class name so now in this case i have to use scope resolution operator if i if i would had written this function inside this class then there was no need for me to put a scope resolution operator since i am writing down the implementation of this get data function outside the scope of this class that's why we have to mention the name of the class along with the scope resolution operator okay so this is another use of scope resolution operator okay, so the, now this is the second use of scope resolution operator operator okay now let us move to the next use okay so to access class static variable okay so here in this program i have declared two variables with the same name one of the variable i have declared as a static variable inside the class and i have assigned the value to this static variable outside the class okay because i cannot initialize the data members inside the class okay if i try to initialize the values to my data members inside this class it will give me an error so for that i need to uh, use make use of constructor okay so here i am not using the concept of constructor so here i am using the keyword static okay so in this program i am using two variables with the same name and one of the variable i have declaring as a static variable and that variable i'm declaring inside the class and to that variable i'm initializing the value outside the class using the scope resolution operator as you can see here i have assigned the value of 20 to this variable num and inside my main function i have declared another variable with the same name and to that variable i'm declaring the value of 30 so now if i want to access the variable which I have declared inside the main function then in that case I don't have to put this scope resolution operator because I am just referring to the variable which I have declared inside the main function so in this case I don't have to make use of scope resolution operator so if I want to access the variable num which I have declared outside the main function which I have declared inside the class okay which is static variable then in that case I have to make use of the class name okay so now let us see this program okay here the same program is open in turbo C++ okay so now if I run this program you will see it's displaying me 20 because I have used a scope resolution operator in this program okay inside the main you can clearly see since I have used scope resolution operator along with the name of the class that's why it's referring the num variable which I have declared as a static variable okay so if I want to access the variable which I have declared locally inside the main then I need to remove the scope resolution operator and when I run this you will see 30 will get printed and if I use the scope resolution operator it will print the 20 so uh, this is the third use of scope resolution operator so these are the various uh, situations where we can make use of scope resolution operator in C++ programming uh, this is everything about uh, scope resolution operator okay so in this video we saw what are those various situations or scenarios where we can use the scope resolution operator so that's all for this video so and uh, i hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching